depending on what they're looking for and what they consider interesting and stuff, how advanced their technology is will determine when life on Earth was discovered by them. In terms of the radio signals that we've been sending out, um, that's expanding out into a bubble as those radio waves travel out into space. So we've already advertised ourselves to the cosmos. The question is then whether it's listening. I don't think there's any threat that it will listen and come and attack us and we'll be doomed. I think there's just too far to travel and far more interesting places to go without life. We're no threat. Everybody kind of always assumes in the Hollywood movies that we find aliens that are so similarly advanced to us that we can kill them in the end with the curl or something like that. And if you think back, life in the universe will have had a long time to get going. The odds of finding someone exactly at the same stage of development as us is vanishing. If they're 50 years behind, they're no threat to us. If they're 50 years ahead, we're no threat to them. You know, if you think, if you imagine soldiers from World War II with their weapons going up against modern soldiers, it, it'd be no contest. If you imagine soldiers from World War II going up against people from the Boer War, would be no contest. And so why we think, aside from it being good for movies because it gives you admirable conflict, there'd be any risk of conflict at all is, to me, somewhat laughable.